Oh, you lie. Once again, we are back. Hapco does so much more than music. As you know, it's Hapco for the arts tonight. As you already know, it's the cultural art of culinary art. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Hapco Live, the culinary edition. Coming to you a bit of a strange circumstance. Delay does not mean denial. We're a week late, but Chef Cartel is always on time. Hey, Sterling Stevenson, your co-host. Tonight, you will see Chef Cartel do his thing right here with Hapco Live. Coming to you live from the Orlando studio, the Texas studio, Okoye, and even Duval. Jacksonville is in the house. Hapco is giving you your culinary art show virtually once again. Hey, COVID can't stop this train. We're going to keep this thing rolling, rolling, rolling. Who would I be not to introduce the visionary the CEO, the brains and the, the, the face of HAPCO, my co-host, the partner in crime. HAP, how are you, my friend? I'm doing fine on this great Wednesday evening. Thanks so much, um, Sterling, for being our gracious host. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm very excited tonight. Of course, I always love, you know, talking to you and Chef. But we got a good friend of ours tonight who has his own sauce to add to the um, to the menu tonight. And so I'm amongst friends and I'm so excited. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to sit back because I'm going to write down this menu so I can be able to prepare this, you know, for the house. Anyway. Yeah. You can see Chef is uh, in the lab. He's getting it together. Chef Cartel, how you feeling tonight, man? I'm doing great. How about you all? Good, man. Just it's good great, to see you great. back. Good to see you back, man. Hope everyone, how you feeling? You good? Yeah, I'm making it through, making it through, taking it day by day. There you go. There you go. So, friends and family, you'll see that uh, tonight we're not a trio, more of a quartet. My good friend, Jarrell Watson. Jarrell, how are you, my man? Oh, pretty good, Sterling. How are you doing tonight? Maintain and making it happen as always. Now, if you've got something on your, your left breast there, uh, something about a little sauce you know something about. Yeah, man. Uh, it's triple-A sauce made by Edith's Best. Edith's Best. Triple-A sauce, uh, you know, just to tell you a little bit about it, Sterling, uh, Triple A sauce is a really good all-purpose sauce. You know, it goes great with meats, fish, vegetables, seafood. You can marinate with it, cook with it, or just use it as a finishing sauce. You know, but put the flavor profile on it, just a slight bit of heat, and it transitions to sweet and tangy. So I want you to be able to use it every time you sit at your dinner table. Okay, okay. So, Chef, tonight uh, you, you, you're featuring the triple A sauce. What what are you preparing tonight, Chef? I'm actually doing a ribeye pasta pump nesta. And what we're going to do with the sauce is the sauce that we're going to uh, use is the triple A sauce. We're going to blend it in with some heavy whipping cream to make it into a pasta sauce. Mm, okay. We're going to add that to the ragatouille and we're going to layer. We're going to add the vegetables that's going into the pasta. We have some fresh basil, we have some capers, and we have some uh, tomato. Then we're going okay. to put a medium. So, Chef. Hmm? What is the prep time for the meal tonight? The prep time, we're, st we're still sticking with the 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes. You, okay. Have, you have your rear eye that I just marinated. And we're going to take it straight to the skillet. And if you see, the skillet is already coated with olive oil. Mm. Uh, what's the greatest benefit to coating with olive oil? Olive oil is less fattier than regular butter. It's healthier to cook with. And to me, it brings out flavor. Yeah, butter gives it a great flavor, but we want to stay on the healthy side. Our whole goal for this whole entire show and that everything we're doing is teaching people how to eat in proportion and to teach them to eat healthier. Okay. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to mark the steak on each side. I already have my stove at 350. I want to serve this with uh, at a medium to medium well temperature. This pot here is for our uh, pasta. So what I'm going to do is open up the pasta now. And as you can see, these are our ingredients. Oh, we also have black olives that's going into the pasta. Uh, great product, right? 
Any more? Any questions while I prepare? Well, the first question you were going through your list of ingredients, and uh, all of those um, ingredients sound familiar, all except capers. Now, I've eaten them before. It's been a while. What is the profile of capers? What flavor do they bring out? Repeat your question for me. All of the ingredients that you, you listed sound relatively uh, <coughs> common, all, all but the capers. What flavor profile does the caper present or introduce? The capers are, because I don't cook with salt, so okay. this partic particular dish needs salt. So the capers are going to give it that salt flavor. Capers, um, can, if you use too much or you use it loosely, it can bring a very high salt content. Okay. So the capers just add a little flavor uh, and more of a salt flavor. So, Jarrell, while we have a moment, you, you said the name of it is the AAA sauce. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now, how did, how did the, the vision of the AAA sauce come into fruition? What made you come up with this sauce? So, it's, so it's, it's two parts. So the sauce I used to make all the time really was very cavalier about it. And, you know, between my wife and friends, you know, I would make it and, you know, just give it away and that type of thing. Didn't really think anything of it. And so when I, a few years back, I decided to work for myself and I decided to finally do something with it. And, uh, you know, again, very cavalier, just something that you can use to enhance your meal when you're out there. I launched it in 2016 and uh, launched it on Amazon and the rest has been history. The second part of that, you know, people ask me about Edith's Best, you know, how that name came about. Well, Edith was the name of my grandmother and Edith's best is actually a play on words because like all of us, you know, everyone thinks, you know, that they're their favorite to their grandparent or what have you. So Edith's best is a play on words, me um, feeling, just, you know, or believing that I'm, I'm, I'm her best, but also too about quality, about everything you do, putting your heart into it, you know, uh, being the best at what you do. So that's what I wanted to I wanted this sauce, the first of the best products to be something that, you know, you can be proud of, something that's high quality, something that, you know, that makes you go back to that point in time every time you sit at your table about the feel, the, you know, how eating and, 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 and galvanizing and bringing people together, you know, how that makes you feel when you eat, because that's the whole thing about eating. You know, it brings people together, makes you feel good, and it takes you back to a time and place where life is good. So that's a little bit about about that. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm, about to start. I'm about to start the sauce for the pasta with the triple A. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my full cup. We have, we have, we have we actually got my full cup. This is this measurement cup is a half a cup. So we're gonna do two of these. So, Jarrell, you definitely wouldn't put the sauce in a category or even in a box just to say that it's a barbecue sauce. Is that right? No, uh, that's a good point you're making. You know, I market it as an as a you know an all the time or an all purpose sauce. You know, but a high quality um, all purpose sauce. You know, it's very versatile. You can like he's you know like chef is doing. I can cook with it, can marinate with it. You know, use it as a as a finisher. You know, and the other point that I want to make too, Sterling. You know, because it's, you know I wanted to make sure that folks knew that you know this is quality. You know, the sauce is gluten free. It's low sodium low sugar, you know, so, you know, it's very vegan friendly, you know, and those that are looking for, you know, a, a you know, a healthier alternative to typical sauces that are out there. A lot of people aren't aware of it, but condiments such as sauces as this typically carry a, a, a high sodium content or even add extra unnecessary calories to your meal. Uh, That's exactly this right. Like a great alternative to uh, maybe a ketchup or a simple sauce. And it adds a exactly. great flavor as well. 
That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And so that's that's one of the unique properties or and, you know, in my opinion, you know, I believe it tastes great. You know, my customers seem to enjoy it, uh, you know, and I and I market it in a, in a specialty store category. So, you know, you know, those are the areas where folks are looking at their labels. You know, folks are looking at their labels a lot more now. And, uh, you know, I'm just thankful that it's able to, you know, fall into a category that not only tastes great, but also enhances the meal as well as, you know, they feel a little bit better about putting it in their body. Right, right. Great thing. Great thing. And as you can see, I added a half. So you did two. You did one full cup of the Eater's Best Triple A sauce. And we added a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. So I guess Jarrell, you probably can uh, shop it around as well as a starter sauce as well. On my Facebook page. I'm sorry, as what? As a starter sauce for the pasta. Okay. Like a base sauce for the pasta. Hey, I appreciate that tip, Chef. Because I tried it with um, some shrimp seafood and it was great. Chef, you, you're braising that ribeye uh, about three minutes on each side? Uh, four. Four about minutes? Four. Okay. okay. And that's why I was saying. And that is? I'm going to just brown that one side, then I'm going to throw it in there. So about two minutes. So this is a ribeye. This is a ribeye. And I have been cooking it for about four minutes on each side. And like a fine between medium and high. Hey, hey Chef, I think your microphone may be covered. Oh, did you could you hear me? I think I think you said it's cooked on it's cooked scheduled to cook four minutes on each side, is that right? Four minutes on each side and I cook it about at seven between high and medium. Okay. So that, that medium high heat, four minutes on each side. Four minutes on each side. Then I'm going to throw it in the oven for 10 minutes on 350. Okay. So putting it in the oven at 350 kind of tenderizes the meat? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, Darrell, let me ask you. The, the, sure. the palate that it would... Uh, probably that, that it's going to remind you of. Is it a ketchup base or mustard base sauce? Well, what's your what's your starter for that sauce? You know, it's a blend. It's a blend, you know, don't want to go too far into the secret, but you know, it, it really is a blend of, of, of those things, you know, and a, and a little bit of, and a little bit of love in there. Oh boy. And as you can see, I'm adding a quarter pinch of a caper in the sauces because that heavy whipping cream, Jarrell uh -huh. sauce is like a barbecue base, but it's sweet. But it also has like a mustard kick to it. So the heavy whipping cream gave it like a sweet taste. So when we add the capers, it's going to bring it back to give it that more sweet, salty taste. I'm enjoying these tips, um, Chef. And if I may add, I think it's probably about the fourth or fifth menu um, Chef has done for us because with AAA sauce, Chef has done uh, some, some live classes before COVID up in Jacksonville. And so this is probably around the third or the fourth type of uh, menu that he has done for us with Jarrell sauce. And so, you know, he continues just to add to the, the you know, to the, the, the potential of what could be done with this triple A sauce, along with delivering a healthy meal, which is our, our main one of our main goals, along with the twenty time twenty minute time period, you know, delivering a good healthy meal. Because you know, you know, one thing I know, my mom is watching, and so I'm trying to get her to eat healthier. And so we get, we, you know, she has some options, and so you know, bridging these two um, two two great men together with Jarrell triple A sauce and Chef uh, Cartel. Uh, you know, that culinary that skill that is making it, making it seasoning is going right on top of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. See, see how that works? <laughs> bring, bring it all together. There you go. Friends and family, while I have a moment, 
We thank you for your continued support of the Music and Culinary Arts Program. In order to donate, we need your help. While going to the website, take a minute, hapcopromo.org backslash donate. Make sure your tax-deductible donation gets into us soon and very soon. Did I say tax-deductible? That's right, 501c3 educational program. Certified, y'all. There's nothing side of the road. It's the real deal, Hapco. Thank you, my friend. <clears throat> hey, Sterling. Uh, yes, could, I, could I could I could I pig, could could I piggyback on what you just said regarding Hapco? Yes, Is that sir. All right. Yeah, I was sure. just going to say, you know, as far as you know, one, there's been a great collaboration and partnership between Edith Best and Hapco for a while now. And what I would do, I would encourage all of uh, EB Nation, you know, any, those that follow me, to please consider, you know, supporting this organization because the things that they're doing for the youth and music and the other, you know, and them using their platform to bless me tonight and others, you know, for myself to you, Sterling and, and, and Chef, you know, you just can't substitute that. Someone who's willing to, to bless others and help. So I also encourage anyone who's watching that uh, that follows Edith's Best, please consider this uh, uh, HAPCO as, a, as, a, as an opportunity to give and help support what they're doing in the community with kids, not only with culinary, but also as well with music. Yep, yep. Norell, all too often people say the children are our future. Now, I beg right. to differ. The children are our present. We have to invest in them yep. now. Correct. So how does it taste so far, Chef? Jarrell. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> split. Hey, 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 look. So I need to come to Jacksonville in a, in a week or so? And we can put it on the market. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I trust you. <laughs> Well, you know, chef, chef is already always, you know, doing some great things, you know, with the sauce and his own sauce. I know we we may have lost him for a little bit, but he's always, you know, just just just, you know, adding to the to the to the uh, platform, you know, for for your sauce. And so it's 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 a beautiful thing. Yeah. Right. The amazing thing is, man, for for chef's element of creativity, for him to have been self-taught, that's simply amazing. I think that's a testament to really exactly. the, the God-given talent that he has. And we appreciate him definitely sharing that talent with us uh, here at HAPCO. Uh, special thanks to Chef. He could easily take that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and uh, keep it all to himself. But really, thank you, Chef, for all that you do for HAPCO. Yeah, he's really been a truly, truly a blessing. You know, before COVID hit, you know, we had some more classes set up in Jacksonville. And we even had Tallahassee was on deck for uh, spring of 2020. And so, of course, you know, we're still in those conversations. You know, when we do these culinary classes, the, the focus is really around senior citizens and helping them finding some cost effective, healthy options. And, you mm -hmm. know, you know, the chef working with Chef in Jacksonville, you know, was really a, a, a great asset to you know what we're trying to do with this culinary arts. And so, and then also having Jarrell Sauce uh, be a part of some of those classes, again, added to us, you know, delivering a good product. And, you know, also, you know, just helping our seniors, you know, you know, I, I always bring my mom and she's always telling me how, you know, how it's so ex expensive to eat a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with the chef recipes, you know, the 20 minute recipes, Twenty for twenty dollars, along with you know having Jarrell sauce and some of those recipes, you know you still you you meeting that at a cost effective way, and so just bringing all that together to help those you know help our, our senior citizens, and then eventually we're gonna be doing some mentoring programs for our youth. You know that's some of the things that we're gonna you know we're playing. Of course, COVID has kind of made us all pivot as much as you know a great deal, but you know we're we're still delivering our product online, you know, with my great friend, my great host, you know, Sterling Stevenson and Chef there. And then now, you know, we have, you know, Jarrell as one of our, our guests tonight. It, it just brings it all together. It brings it all together. Right. right. Now, Hap, as you were talking, uh, a word came to mind that often is misconstrued, um, malnourished. You know, you, you yeah. often think of someone not getting enough to eat. Malnourishment, I, I learned this when I was working with a USDA program. Malnourishment means that you don't get the adequate balance of nutrients and vitamins in your foods. And one of the things that Chef does provide is a great nutritious meal, and it's quick too. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Chef's back. I believe we got him back. Yeah, we got you, baby. We see you. Yeah, we see you. Can you You're all on solo? Yeah. Okay, I don't. I'm... I, I think a road trip is in my in, in my future on, on one of these classes. We got to figure out how to social distance and, and do this thing live and then um, partake in the meal because every time we do these classes, I get a little lunchy, you know, afterwards. A lot I wanna, lunchy. I want to taste, you know, I know when we did it live, I was able to take some 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 meals back, you know, with me, and so I'm kind of missing out on the live yeah. interaction. After you let me know, we, we can ride. <laughs> I, exactly. I, I sure enjoyed your cooking the last time I was in Jacksonville, Chef. It sure was good. Yeah, I tell you, boy. <laughs> so, 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 some people we just can't allow. Some people we can't allow on a regular basis. <laughs> Some people so we cannot allow. So have think I just saw you drinking a glass of wine. Uh, if you yes. go back to the first show we did, I believe it was a chicken that he prepared. And yes. I did not know that uh white wines go with white meat such as uh chicken and pork. Yes, Since this sir. is a red meat, a red wine definitely would be uh most appropriate. Once we get <laughs> Chef back, then we can get him to, to validate that. Chef, you back? Yeah, I'm here. Can you all yeah, we see your kitchen. We see the kitchen. Yeah, we, can yeah, see. we see you. I'm not sure why it's not showing you all. Oh, yeah, but we see you clear. Yeah, we see you. You here, you 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 online. Oh. So Chef, we, we missed a few uh few of your steps in preparation. Uh can you bring us up to speed to where you are now? In the place, and I don't think you heard the chef. Can you hear me? I'm gonna take that as a no. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> but friends and family, thank you for your understanding. Definitely, COVID has uh, made us socially distance, and uh, bringing things to you virtually sometimes has those hiccups. But we're gonna give you the finished product, and once we establish communication. Uh, Chef is going to talk us back through the finished product and exactly how we got there. We're at about, uh, I think, 14 minutes of actual cooking time. So mm -hmm. uh, we're under that 20 minute prep time. So that ribeye looks like it's come out of the oven. Remember that temperature setting was at 350, Everybody and the purpose of that was to tenderize that meat. Do y'all see the ribeye? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. So, Chef, are those uh, tomatoes that you're braising? All right. <laughs> I'm good because we can still see everything, so I'm good. Yeah. And we yeah. see you, Jeff. We see you, Jeff. You about to pour the sauce on it? Oh, that's the. Um... So it looks like yeah, you have those cherry it. tomatoes and the pasta is going into the pot or the pan. Yep. There you go, the sauce. And goes to AAA with the heavy whipping cream. And remember, that was one cup of cream, one, well, I'm sorry, one cup of AAA and a half cup of heavy whipping cream all brought together. With capers. Put together under low heat, looks like. Well, there will be a quiz after the show, so definitely uh, take good notes, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Gonna blend it all together to make sure that the consistency is is good. Looks good so far, Chef. Thank you. So, but how many people that would that would serve, um, Chef, based off that this, menu? This right here, I, for what I did for us tonight, this portion is two people. Good, good deal. Good deal. 
Well, if you got a greedy day, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people like Jarrell, they don't like to share. So I can, I, 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 I do feel. He, he, he right. right. He right. At what yeah. one are you drinking, man? Oh, it's a Chardonnay, a Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. Do you want to think? I had some haddock tonight. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, see, Jarrell. You're, you're on the computer. You're on the internet, Jarrell. <laughs> so it looks like Seth is cutting those into strips that are about a half inch thick. And look how tender it looks. Man, like, like cutting a knife through butter. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cop that technique right there on the stove. Yeah, Jarrell, he, he's a trained professional, man. Don't try this at home. I'll come back with band aids all over me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, Chef would travel. Tell you know, make you know, um, Chef. Tell a family out there that's watching, you know, that you 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 are a traveling um, personal chef, right? Personal mm -hmm. chef. Yeah, I've seen y'all in Carolina and Orlando, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I Georgia. Travel, I travel at least seventeen days out of the month. Okay. Wow. And then also, don't forget, he's a celebrity chef as well. Yep. Yes, he is. And we lost him for a little bit. All right, but we'll keep the party rolling. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll yes, sir. The, the crazy thing is, man, we, we've been rolling for a while. And yes. we have seen some shows where there have been hiccups where people, if they only knew what was going on behind closed doors. And we still make it happen, don't we, Silver? We still make it happen. That's party right. Party don't stop, man. Party don't stop. That's right. All man, right. that plate's starting to look good. Oh, my man. goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking. And the, the amazing thing is, Hap, he's right at 20 minutes of prep time. Yeah, yeah, that is true, yeah. See, Mama, that's easy. So you can do it, Mama. Yeah, <laughs> she'll call me and, and scold me tomorrow morning. <laughs> she'll let me know. Why you put me out there? <laughs> oh, yeah, you get it. You gonna, you gonna it's get all it. love, Mama. I love you, Mama. All right. So Chef is putting the finishing touches on the uh, pasta featuring the triple-A sauce and ribeye steak. That steak is going on top. Uh-oh, he's about to pretty it up. He's about to pretty it up again. Yeah, yeah he is making it pretty. <clears throat> Uh-oh. More triple A uh -oh. around the edge. Drizzle it along the top for added he, flavor and to taste. Presentation. I love that add to drizzle. It. <laughs> and then the tease oh, of the finishing not the touch. Just like not the sprinkle, the sprinkle. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Looks like a light salt and pepper mixture. <laughs> Hey, Chef, you're going to have to take a picture of that, that and send that to me. Take a picture of that and send that plate to me. Friends and family, voila, before your very eyes. My Featuring man. the AAA sauce. There wow. it is. Right at 20 minutes of prep time. Man, that tastes nice. good. To me. Mm. Hey, Jarrell, that tastes good to my eyes, man. I know me, mine too. Man, yeah, so chef, that, ne that that needs to be a menu order there on your private on your on your private engagements. Man, put it in the food truck too. <laughs> All right, Jarrell, let me hey, know. I'll let you know well ahead of time too. All right, all right. So, friends and family, once again, Hapco Live has done it. Special thanks to Chef John Cartel, everything that you do there in Jacksonville and all over. Yeah, he is available. He is a, a chef to the stars. 
he can even become your own personal chef. Make sure you check him out. Uh, chef, what is your uh, Instagram handle? You mean I heard you? Yeah, I think it's uh, Chef underscore Cartel, if I'm not mistaken, on IG. Jarrell, thank um, you so much. Is chef dot, wants to order? Chef dot Cartel. I'm sorry, that's Chef, chef dot Cartel. Uh, not Chef underscore Chef dot Cartel on IG. Jarrell, if someone wants to get um, AAA sauce, how can they get that? Uh, currently, uh, my online platform is Amazon, so go to Amazon.com and pick it up. Visit edisbest.com or you know any of the social media sites at at Edis Best. Okay. And um, your IG handle for Edis Best is at Edis Best. Gotcha. Simple enough. Simple enough. So have you got closing remarks? I just thank everyone for being here tonight. You know, this is what we do. You know, we we try to bring you top quality programs. And our culinary uh, programs are, are, is one of the one one of the programs that we're just trying to bless all, everyone. You know, we have a, a, a good focus or a main focus around our senior citizens. But as you can see, everyone eats, so everyone can participate. And you know, we're all looking for healthy options. You know, I am. I'm, you know, I'm trying to make sure I stay healthy, and you know, um, you know, make sure I'm not on medicine, and you know, just you know, want to live a long and healthy life. And that's what it's all about. You know, great. Food options that are that's healthy, uh, that you can eat, or that you can, you, can, you can make with ease. And so that's what we're trying to do. Of course, HAPCO has a big focus on music, art, education, but culinary is a part of who we are. So I just want to thank the audience for being a part of this. Thank Jarrell for just continuing to be a good partner with HAPCO and come alongside our live and, uh, and our uh, virtual class and programs that we just did tonight. Thank, to, thank you to Chef Cartel for continuing to be in there with us, you know, even through all some of his challenges, you know, as, as it relates to some of the things that's going on. And then and thank the, and, and a special thanks to uh, Mr. Sterling Stevenson for being a gracious host. Always bringing out the best of HAPCO to let people understand and know who we are and why we are here to be a part of your lives. So just thank you to everyone for um, being with us tonight. And, and, and thank you for staying along with us. All right. So on behalf of Chef John Cartel, a special guest tonight, Jarrell Watson, Hap, and yours truly, Sterling Stevenson, friends and family, thank you. This has been Hap Go Live. We'll see you soon. You never know where Hap Go Live will pop up. This is how we do it. Always to you. Thanks. God bless. Good night. Oh, we'll be back tomorrow night with some live jazz. So oh, check man, us out tomorrow night. Make sure. Tomorrow night is live jazz. So yeah, we had to you know, switch the, the culinary to tonight. And so it kind of fell right in front of our, our live jazz. So we'll be tomorrow tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, with some great live jazz, you know, with our great host, Sterling Stevenson, again. Thank you, Jarrell. Thank hey, Sterling. thanks. Thanks, brother. We appreciate you. All right, bro. All right. Take care. Take care. Take care, Sterling. Right. Later, Chef. All right. Peace.